this is Yuri from YNC Comics and in our previous adventure, check this out. Okay, I am so excited about this box and I, you probably saw my reaction when I first opened the books because these books are actually smaller than the typical comic books that you see and they're in such a delicate, um, they're so delicate and they are from the 70s. I mean, they came out between the 70s and the 80s. I grew up watching the TV series, so I have never seen the actual comic books. I've only heard of them and I've been following them. So I was really excited to see the comic books and I just, these are, these are comic books from Mexico. So the first thing I wanted to find out is if the CGC actually will grace such comic books. And I just want you to see, it's probably the way you feel when you find one of your favorite comic books of your, uh, of your most popular um, characters from Marvel or DC. But for us that grew up in Latin America, and we're little kids in the 80s, we only heard of the comic books. I have never seen the comic books, so I was really excited to see this little box, to open these comic books with you. And um, this one right here is El Chapulín Colorado, which is the superhero that El Chavo read comic books off in, his TV, in the TV show. And um, this one is number 300 of year seven. So there might be more out there. There is a lot more out there, but this is what I was able to find. This one is El Chavo del Ocho, and it's number 300 as well. And uh, they're in such a delicate state that I do not want to be touching them too much, but I do want to get them graded. So I went into the CGC census to find out if these comic books were rated before by the CGC. And lo and behold, yes, they've been graded before by the CGC. So, in the census, I was able to find out that they only have seven copies of, uh, actually, yeah, seven copies of El Chavo del Ocho. So, mine will be number eight. And ten copies of the Chapulín Colorado. And for those that are wondering, what is Chapulín? It's grasshopper. In Mexico, they call uh, grasshoppers Chapulines. So, you have to read more about this character, but he's a superhero that becomes technically like Ant or Adam. He becomes a miniature. Uh, along the way of his superpowers, that's one of his superpowers, and that's where the word Chapulín comes from, because he becomes a little like a grasshopper. Uh, anyway, I'm so excited that the CGC creates this. There's only ten of El Chavo, uh, uh, ten of El Chapulín, and eight, uh, seven of El Chavo. So mine will be number eight, and my Chapulín will be number eleven. Uh, what grade I will get, I don't know. They are in very uh, poor conditions, I will say that. But I'm excited to send them to the CGC and find out what Greywood will give me. I finally made it to the CGC booth. I know, I promised you guys that I was gonna submit my Chavo del Ocho and Chapulín Colorado <laughs> comic books. Number 300, as you can see, they're not your regular size. Actually, there is only seven of El Chavo del Ocho and ten of, no, uh, of El Chapulín Colorado in the CGC registry. So I am really excited. It's been probably three years that I promise you guys that I'll be here, but honestly, I wanted to do this personally. I did not want to mail them. I don't want my books to be damaged or anything. These are very unique and rare comic books of Latin America and Mexico. And so I want to make sure that I do it right. And we are here at the Convention Center in Anaheim, California for WonderCon 2023. And I am going to surrender my babies today.
take this on the other back I'm going to take that, and I'm going to give you something even better in return. Alright. Where'd you guys find this? It's at uh, one of the artist groups. Uh, As you can see, that was WonderCom in Anaheim, California this year, 2023. And I submitted two comic books that are very special to me. They're close to my heart. One of them is El Chavo del Ocho, or the kid from number eight, and El Chapulín Colorado, who is a superhero. These are comic books that I grew up um, watching on TV. I didn't know there was comic books until I became an adult many, many, many years ago. So I am excited because my box from the CGC came back and I am going to open the box today. So it's mail call. Join me as we open this box and find out not only what grade I got, but historic. This is historic because I also, it will be number eight and number 10 in the registry of the CGC. So I am really excited about this. So. Stay tuned, let's find out what's in my box. and I am going to reveal to you the grades, yes. All right, so this one is El Chapulín Colorado. This is a Mexican, um, I grew up watching a TV show called El Chapulín Colorado, who is a superhero, and his superpower is that he becomes the size of a grasshopper. Really small, Chapulín Colorado, Chapulín, it's a grasshopper in red, because he's red, so Colorado is red in, in Spanish. And um, I grew up watching this cartoon, and look, I got a 5.0. And what's amazing, they tell you here on the top the grade, um, but it also tells you a little bit about who wrote the story, which in this case was Horacio Gomez Bolaños, and who was the art uh, done by. And in this case, Alvaro Macias and Carlos Gomez. And um, it also tells you when was this book, or this comic book uh, released to the public. This is February 1980. I was not even born, okay? So that tells you how old this comic book is. I did not know they were comic books. This is a story from Mexico. I grew up watching the TV show uh, in Guatemala, so a whole different country. And then later on I found out that it was an, a comic book. And I started hunting this comic book and I will tell you, I am really proud of myself because this is number 10 in the CGC registry. So I am excited. A number 10 with a 5.0 level uh, grade. Uh, that's really, really good. Um, I am excited. And then on the back of the comic book, so I read the comic book before I submitted it and I was like so scared that it will tear apart because it's very delicate. And I thought I was gonna get a 1.0 or something, but I got a 5.0, so that's pretty good. But on the back of the comic book, it has a little um, commercial inviting you to purchase the comic book of El Chavo del Ocho, which translated is the kid for number eight. He is a kid that grew up in a neighborhood, so he's homeless. The story is sad, but in reality, it's also a heartwarming story because it tells you that he lives in this barrel he, he lives on the street of this neighborhood, but uh, of this apartment complex. And he lives in a borough and they name it number eight because they number it number eight uh, because he becomes part of the community and everybody feeds him. And sometimes people are mean, there's a couple of people that are mean to him, but for the, for the most part, he has friends and they're all nice to him and he goes to school and they follow his storyline. And uh, I have El Chavo del Ocho number 300 or the kit number from number eight, uh, number 300. And this one as well came out in February 2000, uh, February 1980. And um, you can see the cover art is by the same, by the same writer, by the same um, artist as well. 
And on the back, it gives you a commercial of El Chapulín Colorado. So it's like they're supporting, um, promoting each other's comics. They're both number 300 and I got a 3.0. So not too bad, eh? not too bad. I am really excited. And I was just, I'm very, I'm very picky when things are not straight. So it was driving me crazy. As soon as I opened this, I was like, oh my gosh, it's not straight. I like straight lines. <laughs> and I guess it's actually hard probably for the CGC when it comes to comic books that are not the typical size. I don't know, this is an 8x10, I don't know what that size is. But if you can see, my comic book is very small compared to the regular comic books, um, other comic books. And um, I'm just excited, guys. So you're probably thinking, what is the big deal? This is my personal collection. These are comic books. These are stories that I grew up watching on TV and I didn't know there was comic books about it. So when I found out there was actual comic books about it, I started hunting them. And um, I found out that there was very few of these comic books. So again, El Chapulín is now number 10 in the registry of the CGC and El Chavo del Ocho is number eight on the registry of the CGC. That's pretty cool. And just to add it to my collection, I actually ended up getting the pop of El Chapulín Colorado. Ah! Actually, this is, um. If you, uh, if you don't know about it, you should know about it because there's a pop already for it. <laughs> Oh, you have to go check it out. And um, so I can't hold it. I'm not an octopus. I don't have too many hands to hold everything. But here is El Chavo de la Cho. I am so excited, guys. This is a personal collection. And it goes back to my other, I don't know if you've seen the other video that I made about Topo Gijo, who's an Italian little mouse that I grew up watching as well. And I found out they made a comic book. Actually, I think I got so moved in that, on that when I found that comic um, that these ones are part of my private collection. I don't think I will ever sell them, trade them or anything. These are just, they mean a lot to me. And I am excited to own them and have them protected. And I am glad I read them and I am glad that now there is online versions of them as well so that I don't have to mess with them and preserve them and preserve the history and the memories. Anyway, if you'd like to find out more about this, I believe there's a there's a cartoon now, a new cartoon, like a new version of this show, but in cartoon version. And I don't know if it's in Netflix or YouTube, but hey, Google it, look it up. Anyway, I, I hope you guys like this personal and private piece of my collection shared with you. If you do, don't forget to follow us and subscribe, comment, share, do all the fun things that you do with these videos. All right, this is Yuri from YNC Comics. Until next time.